Hello viewers, hope you all are. Alright, today, we are talking about Rapper Kodak Black arrested on trespassing charge in Florida. Rapper Kodak Black was arrested on a trespassing charge Saturday in South Florida, authorities said. The Broward Sheriff's Office said Black was taken into custody in his hometown of Pompano Beach early Saturday morning, according to the South Florida Sun Sentinel. Investigators did not immediately release details about what prompted the arrest. Black, whose legal name is Bill Capri, later posted bond and was released, the newspaper reported. Neither his publicist nor his attorney immediately returned an emailed request for comment. Black had a three-year federal prison sentence for falsifying documents used to buy weapons at a Miami gun store commuted by President Donald Trump on his last day in office in 2020. He had served about half his sentence. He was later sentenced to probation last April for assaulting a teenage girl in a South Carolina hotel room. Black was originally charged with rape, but accepted a deal and pleaded guilty to first-degree assault. Black has sold over 30 million singles and has had several multi-platinum and platinum certified singles, including Zeze, No Flockin', and Roll in Peace. Rapper Kodak Black appears in court at the Florence County, South Carolina, courthouse in Florence, SC, Wednesday, April 28, 2021. Authorities say rapper Kodak Black has been arrested on a trespassing charge Saturday, January 1, 2022. Black, whose legal name is Bill Capri, later posted bond and was released, the newspaper reported. Neither his publicist nor his attorney immediately returned an emailed request for comment. He was later sentenced to probation last April for assaulting a teenage girl in a South Carolina hotel room. Black was originally charged with rape, but accepted a deal and pleaded guilty to first-degree assault. Rapper Kodak Black was arrested on a trespassing charge Saturday in South Florida, authorities said. Black had a three-year federal prison sentence for falsifying documents used to buy weapons at a Miami gun store commuted by President Donald Trump on his last day in office in 2020. He had served about half his sentence. Okay, viewers, this is the latest news which was I talking about. Hope you like my video. Please subscribe my channel and also press the bell button. It may cause a notification of my new videos in your mobile. Okay, viewers, be safe in your homes and take care of all your family members. I will come back with a new video. Till then, bye-bye.